Uh, so uh, historically, the witch role has been like very negative for women, but now we have roles such as Maleficent. So is it empowering for you playing a character like this, a villain? It's empowering because I think women have been, strong women are often um, categorized as bad or wicked because they're strong or independent in, in a way that uh, threatens people. And I like for women that there is someone like Maleficent who is who represents uh, women in a way that I that I agree with. We are she she is she wasn't born dark, but she was abused, and so she she struggles. But uh, but really, when she fights, she fights because she loves, and that's most women. And on the other side, we have Aurora, mm -hmm. who is very sweet, and she wants to get married. And I think that audience tends to think that that is related to being weak. Do you think that there is, mm -hmm. there is pressure on how women should be on screen? Yes, 100%. I think that was kind of our point. Um, that was the point I was trying to make with, with Aurora, that she's in fact the wisest kind of in, in the story. And, and I mean, we're all strong in our, in, our, in our way, but there is such a strength in her softness and femininity and, and you know, wanting to be married and, and have babies. And there, that is, that's extremely strong as, as well. So it's nice to show that side on screen that is often kind of neglected, I would say, of that type of woman. Mm -hmm. And... Your character is very young and she's still growing up, but at the same time she has lots of responsibilities. Can you relate to her as someone who grew up in front of the cameras? Oh, um, I guess I've never looked at it that way. Um, I think that we are similar in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, she does have a great responsibility on her, and I guess I felt like like I have growing up. So, sure, but yeah, <laughs> we're. We're kind of one and the same. We look the same right now, <laughs> like in our blue and She's very smile. Aurora. Yeah. She's very aware. <laughs> and uh, you have a beautiful mother and daughter relationship on screen. And did you feel a little bit like that behind the scenes? How was your relationship? We do. I think because the first movie, she was a child, mm -hmm. and so we spent a lot of time almost in a in a parental to child yeah. role and getting to know each other and she brought out my playfulness and softness and mm -hmm. and I was kind of the older person on set yeah. and, and now she's a woman and we have so we're, we're kind of growing together but we have history and uh, it was so nice to, yeah, to look back on we had the memories of the first movie mm. to look back on doing the second you know yeah it's, it's very it's very close mm -hmm. So um, it feels for me like uh, nowadays uh, kids' movies are more meaningful and even more political than ever. Is this uh, something important for you when accepting or declining a role that there's like a strong message? I think it's always important to make sure that you don't have a negative message that's going to encourage very bad behavior. But I don't think it always has to have a strong message because sometimes entertainment is just fun. Mm -hmm. But when you can, uh, when you can insert a, a message, of course, y you should, and it's wonderful. Um, so this movie has a lot of messages, and we were very aware making it that that's what we wanted to do. So for you, which one is the most important message of the film? There are a few, that, that family is not blood that those who are against others and, and, and um, you know, uh, ag aggressive about uh, people who are different from them and, and wanting to harm are usually people full of fear, like the queen, that there is strength in diversity mm -hmm. and that is a way forward. And uh, respect the, for the environment. Respect for the environment. Mm -hmm. So there's some good messages. Yeah. <laughs> Just a few.